Hello and welcome everybody. Today we start off with a very simple question. It's been a Las Vegas year since Paulson stopped making consumer grade chips. And I want to know, do you miss consumer grade chips from Paulson? Everybody out there, let me know in the comments below. Rent, rent, rave, rent. <laughs> rent some space below for free and write and rant about what you think about Paulson. I have some thoughts I'm going to share with you in a minute, but first let's play uh, some cards here. We're going to play Texas Hold'em, sort of. No betting cycles. We're on YouTube for Pete's sake. Grab your deck and shuffle up. What do you, Trafel? Trafel. Trafel? It's like, is this the Polish brand that I reviewed forever ago? We just moved, so everything is coming to the surface. I don't know wherever. And like, there are still things that are in boxes. I have no idea where some of this stuff is. Oh, I need to pull the jokers. The Joker. The Joker. All right, that's enough. All right, here we go. No edge sorting. Shuffle at home. Deal yourself two cards. Texas Hold'em. Very basic. Let us know what you have in the comments below. Only if it's really bad and you decide not to fold. Come on, we're on YouTube. Or it's something really good. All right, Paulson. These are World Top Hat and Cane. Paulson with the suited mold right here. Not sure if that's gonna show up. A suited mold, lovely shaped inlays. One of my favorite consumer grade sets ever made. I need a cut card, because look, people can just see what's down here. Let's grab a poker chip forum cut card. Thank you, Tommy, for sending these out. And for all your support, we appreciate Poker Chip Forum. Remember, there's a king of diamonds. Ugh, fine, I'll shuffle again. Do you see what you guys make me do? These cards are pretty nice. Considering... Struggling today. King of diamonds? Nope, ace of hearts. I'm not a card... I'm not doing this on... I am gonna play for real. I'm not rigging the deck. It was not a cold deck to begin with, so come on, give me a break. If that King's, King of Diamonds shows up, you know I'm cheating. All right, cut card on the bottom. This is a poker chip for a mat, by the way, a table topper. All right, so we have Jane Doe as my opponent. And she has a winning record, but recently I've been chipping away at her lead with World Series of Poker. Oh, by the way, while we're waiting here, the, where, where's my pot? World Series of Poker, um, I I'm gonna mispronounce his name, Jorstad or something. Espen Jorstad, is that how you say it? Uh, I, it, was, it was funny when people interviewed him, they didn't, they, like a lot of people didn't even ask his name or say his name. But yeah, it was a super awesome win. So congratulations, Norway. If you guys watched the Open, we almost had a Norwegian Open winner in golf at St. Andrews with Victor Hovland. Didn't quite pull it off. He took, what, fourth or fifth? He, he didn't. He almost. He, he was doing pretty well. And then we have Jorstad winning the World Series of Poker. Okay. Burned a card. It was going to be the summer of Norway. That's good and bad. All right, here is the river. Ooh, not quite. I had the queen. Obviously, a 10 would have made something nice, but I'm sure she doesn't have anything she... You're kidding me. Okay, hold on a second. There's no way that this just happened. Why is Jane Doe so bad at this game? I don't get it. 10, Jack... Oh, they're not suited. Oh, that was close. 10, Jack, Queen, King, almost a royal flush. What is wrong with Jane Doe? Will you guys stop giving her smoothies? Seriously, what is going on here? Smoothies and saunas. Did you hear that interview with your staff? <laughs> the World Series of Poker champion? <laughs> smoothies and saunas in Las Vegas. Those Norwegians sure know how to riot it up. When they win, burn the place down. All right, so here are my thoughts about Paulson, here, we've got more. So we have Paulson Classics. Do you guys remember the Classics? 
So we have Paulson Classics, we have the World Top Hat and Cane. The rest of them are in storage somewhere. I don't know where they are. I, I, have, I had a few sample sets, so I had like doubles of each color, but they're still in storage. So we're just gonna have, look, look at the ones right now. I bought a stack of these. So Paulson, oh no, it's the end of the world. They stopped making consumer grade chips. Paulson Classics, World, world Hat and Cane, both just discontinued. So what does that leave us with? Well, I thought it would be terrible, but as it turns out, it's not so bad. On, remember how I, the aforementioned poker chip forum, there's a vendor that sells, guess what? Used casino chips, a variety. Look, Jack, Cincy, Horseshoe, Cincy, you know, Cleveland, HSIs, they had another sale just recently. I forget exactly what, look at all of these. I mean, there's no shortage of Paulson chips you can get on the open market. And what would you rather have? Would you rather have, I don't have one. Oh, here we go. Would you rather have a real casino chip 25 or a Paulson Classic 25? Do you see how, for me, looking back, I think I was more worried about Paulson stopping their consumer grade than I should have been because casino, chips, real casino chips, are available. They're out there. And so to me, it just doesn't seem like that big of a deal anymore that Paulson discontinued their consumer grade chips. It does bother me that they, you can't make custom chips from Paulson anymore, because I sure would have loved to do that. You guys know I had some commercial chips made by Blue Chip, which is you know owned by GPI Paulson. Now it's owned by a Japanese company. Then they stopped doing that as well. So I would have loved some custom Paulsons. So maybe that kind of bothers me a little bit. But when it comes to like consumer grade chips, like just the stock chips, I'm not too fl flustered about it. I don't really care anymore. And if I want custom chips, you know where I'm going, right? To classic poker chips. Because look at these, these are also really great chips. I don't feel shortchanged getting these instead of Paulsons, my opinion. But I expect, I hope, everybody out there has a different opinion or variations. I mean, not everybody's gonna think like me. So from the custom chip standpoint, I feel like I'm taken care of. From a, look, I have, here's part of my Cincy set. I just have racks of these Cincy's, horseshoe Cincy's. So, yeah, who cares anymore? Does it matter? To me, not so much. Maybe somebody out there has a good reason. If you can convince me otherwise, I may reject my reality and accept yours. Do you see what I did there? Because the Mythbuster, it's the opposite of what they, you know, I'm not gonna explain it. So there, as, a, as usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support, especially pokerchipforum.com. I mean, the table topper and the cut cards and they, thank you, Tommy for the wonderful website you can i'm going to try to put a link to my or a picture of my profile you can visit me on poker chip forum stop in say hi write me a message everybody's welcome on patreon we message back and forth a lot as well i offer general support i post a few behind the scenes pictures and updates on patreon i really appreciate patrons over there and you can also support this channel by visiting my amazon shop i'll put a link in the description below i am an amazon associate i make proceeds from qualifying purchases thank you everyone for watching i'll see you in the next one